I don't know what the fuck is going on. How does boxing work? Right hand, left hook. Welcome back, gatekeepers. YouTuber boxing matches are usually announced. Get a chuckle out of the internet, maybe a nose exhale, a little. <laughs> and then we all move on with our lives. Also, I'm standing today. What are you gonna do about it? And if it's not Jake Paul boxing, it's usually laughed at too, for just being a joke event with some wimpy punches being thrown around and rounds that seem to last forever and the event is so boring that you try to stay awake until 2 a.m when the main event comes on and then they're just playing ring around the rosy the entire time and then give a big ol hug at the end and you think about how you should probably be spending your money on something a little more worthwhile like rent probably but i'm not here to sh on another youtuber boxing event no 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 i'm here to finally bring you some good fucking news the creator clash was the latest youtuber boxing event with the main fight being idubs the face of content cop and just being alive in 2016 i'm gay <laughs> and uh he was facing dr mike which um he's a doctor the other big fight that i cared about was questionable engineer michael reeves all right, fuck! Fighting financial guru Graham Stephan. Darn son of a billionaire. And I won't spoil who won just yet. They look like two flies in the arena. They're so fast. So I decided to attend. I wanted to see what the hoopla was all about and if this one was really gonna stand out from the rest of the stinkers. My mission, as someone who knows absolutely nothing about boxing, was to bring you the inside scoop. So first I had to somehow manage to get into the event, but not get stuck in the nosebleed seating because that's all that was left when I went to go buy tickets. I decided the best course of action was to apply for a media pass. Pretend I'm from the news? A journalist? You could call me a journalist. Do TVs really float? Hell no. <laughs> Title, YouTuber, publication, uh, YouTube should work. And I had to enter in three links to my work. Um, three of my YouTube videos should do. My 20,000 subscribers at the time should be just enough clout to get me in. But that was hopeful thinking, I thought. There's absolutely no way they'd let me in. When the extent of my journalism was watching a bad movie and calling it cringe. Addison Rae's movie, 10 out of 10. Mario movie, 8 out of 10. The Room, 11 out of 10. Weeks went by, nothing. Hope seemed to be lost. It was all for naught. Then, one day, on a hot summer April day. I get a video call from my friend Jake on Instagram. People never video call me on Instagram. If they do, it's usually a butt dial, but this time it was important. You see, Jake had also applied for a media pass for the Creator Clash, but that's because he's an actual real life professional photographer. And he called because he got approved and he wanted me to check my email to see if I also got approved. So I check my email, nothing. I was devastated until I remembered. The junk folder, of course. And there it was, the approval for my media pass sitting right there in my inbox. And about two weeks later, I'd be able to film an unplanned mediocre vlog at the Creator Clash 2022. Who is that? Oh. For free. Except I already spent $100 on two tickets because I wasn't sure if they were gonna approve my media pass in the first place. But it's fine. And speaking of nuts to butts, this was balls to the wall. Back in- they are both gassed right now. Ryan's not giving an inch. Wow. Who won? Who is that? Ryan won. No. Alex Ernst has won. So now what happens? What's up? Run this is out? stressful. Nice. nice! I think that's internet etiquette. Fight. We have a winner. He has won the match. And they are now walking out. Yeah. Sports. Oh, you're great! Why did I say that? We have I did a thing and the odd one out. So that's, I know those two. That's gonna be a fight to watch. So I just did a thing is coming out. He's gonna do a thing in the ring. Good routine, yeah. I liked it. I give it a 
probably a 9 out of 10. I'd say it's pretty good. All right, the odd one is out. The odd one's out is coming out next. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Yep. He looks so angry. Someone spit in his food before he got here. So now we have AB from H3. He's gonna fight the scary looking guy. All right, there's AB. He's walking right now. So that's kind of cool. He's walking right now. Yeah. All right. Yep. Mom spaghetti, he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop I even got to meet some of my favorite creators in real life. I'm here with Jarvis. She's currently bending down very far to say hi. This is my normal height. She's lying. Shout out to Michael Reeves, who's about to come out. It really does take a special kind of person. Maybe someday me and Jarvis will box. You never know. And then I got to admire my other favorite creators from afar, because I was way too shy to talk to them. I'm shaking. I mean, even the commentary team was stacked for this event. We had XQC. Wait. Well, we had critical. You know, I'm way too shy to go up to these people, but I can at least say that I've stood within probably 20 feet from Moist Critical himself, so I'm very honored. And some other pretty cool people. Sfand, I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. Sfand, Sfand did a great job with the pre-match interviews or whatever they're called. Adrenaline, 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 adrenaline. I said that. Adrenaline. I said that. You're looking like a gladiator. Have you ever been told that? Never in my life. Usually I get called I look like an alcoholic a lot. That's right, a vengeful gladiator. Vengeful. Ooh. That's right. Vengeful, it's almost sexy. Mix, you're about to fight. Maybe not as good of a job as I did commentating people's walkouts. Now we have Graham Stephan. He likes money. He's a very small man. But, you know, I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. But the Creator Clash also donated a lot of their proceeds to charity. I'm not exactly sure how much yet, but I know they're giving to the American Heart Association and I think a cause for Alzheimer's, but I thought that was pretty cool. So props to that. They haven't announced the total yet, but if they do before I post this video, I'll make sure to put it in. I honestly just had such a good time. The crowd was incredible for every single fight. I had no like hopes of any certain person winning except for Michael Reeves and he won, so. I'm happy. Good job, Dad. What we all want to know now is, are you going to be boxing again after this? Oh, fuck no! All right, let's give it up for Michael. I mean, the energy was phenomenal. From the organization of the event to the production, it didn't drag on at all. I was afraid it was gonna go until like 1 a.m. and that's frankly past my bedtime. So I'm glad it didn't. The rounds were just as long as they needed to be. Uh, parking was a bit of a shit show, but that's kind of a given since I arrived at six o'clock when the event started. I'll put the other fights on screen here. Overall, it was a great event, so I just wanted to talk about it for a little bit. Make sure you subscribe if you would also like to become a Gabby Bell gamer gatekeeper, okay? You can gatekeep me. Only you can subscribe. That's right, only you. And make sure to subscribe to my second channel that I just made. It's called Gabby XD. Yep, it's better than Disney XD. Make sure you go subscribe. I'll be uploading a lot more unedited content, so make sure you go check that out. Thanks to my patrons for sponsoring this video. Thank you. Bye.